Women make up a third of HIV cases in the UK and over 50% globally, yet women are underrepresented in terms of medical research, support and visibility. In this special report, women living with HIV speak out about how their experiences have shaped their lives and what change they want to see for a fairer future. HIV was first identified way back in the 80s and it was the gay guys in San Francisco who had this strange thing, didn't know what it was. Contrary to popular belief, HIV is certainly not just a gay man's disease. Worldwide, there are more women than men who are living with HIV. To the surprise of most people I meet, I live with HIV. I don't fit the pattern they have in their head. The automatic reaction is, I'm so sorry. To which I say, why? I'm fine. And they say, but you're so brave with tears in their eyes, and I say, I'm not brave, I'm absolutely fine. I'm really lucky because I go to a really good clinic, the Lawson Clinic in Brighton, where there is, in fact, a special service for women, and I'm spoilt by my doctor, Yvonne Gillies. So I've been working in the field of HIV for 25 years now, and over that time, we have developed really good drug treatments for HIV meaning that now somebody diagnosed with HIV is unlikely to die from HIV, but stigma, which does exist, can kill. There are 38 million people living with HIV worldwide, of whom nearly 21 million are women. Historically, women have been underrepresented in clinical trials, meaning we don't really know how HIV drugs uh, behave differently in women. And women's representation in trials has ranged from between 15 and 25 percent. However, data presented this year at an international conference was really disappointing to show that actually there were fewer women represented in the trials this year than had been in previous years presented. So there are 100,000 people living with HIV in the UK. One third of the individuals living with HIV in the UK are women. And of those women, the majority are of black and ethnic minority background. Women, HIV and research, we are not centred and our experiences aren't captured enough. So it means that there are a lot of unanswered questions for women living with HIV. For example, what are ex our experiences going to be like as we grow older? And what are some of the impacts of taking the medication for as long as we have? A couple of years ago now, I was in a healthcare setting where the person who was looking after me just assumed that I wouldn't want to have children because I have HIV and their assumption was really was really challenging because in certain spaces you just want the healthcare professionals to get it right. I was diagnosed with HIV just over 20 years ago and I was completely shocked because I really thought that HIV was just a disease that affected gay men. What made it worse for me was that my boys were only five and seven at the time and I was told I only had about seven years to live. Knowledge is incredibly important to me, so I made it my mission to find out everything that I could about HIV. One of the things that's really helped me to deal with my diagnosis is connecting with other women living with HIV. There are support services across the UK who can help you, who understand what you're going through. I made a lot of amazing friendships and I honestly feel like I've gained a second family.